Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. In a recent interview with a Ukrainian television channel on April 24, 2024, the deputy commander of a tank company in the Ukrainian Armed Forces, Androniak, sparked interest by praising the Russian Army's use of Soviet-era T-55 tanks, despite their considered obsolescence. Androniak's comments shed light on the evolving dynamics of modern warfare and the strategic choices made by both sides in the ongoing conflict. While some military experts in Ukraine may have mocked the use of T-55 tanks by the Russian armed forces, Androniak emphasized their effectiveness as artillery weapons, particularly in providing support on the battlefield. He highlighted the in-depth modernization efforts undertaken by Russia, including improved armor and new guns, which have enhanced the utility of these tanks. Androniak underscored the ease of use, reliability, and simple maintenance of Soviet military equipment, describing the deployment of T-55 tanks as cool due to their effectiveness in artillery roles. He noted the advantage of their large numbers in the Russian army, allowing for swift deployment without the need for specialized positions or transportation of ammunition. However, Androniak clarified that T-55 tanks are not utilized by Russian crews for direct assault operations but rather for artillery support. He emphasized that Russian forces also possess more modern tanks, such as the T-90, for direct combat engagements. The T-55, a main battle tank adopted by over 70 countries worldwide, is equipped with a 100mm main armament and offers offensive capabilities, albeit surpassed by Western vehicles present among Ukrainian forces. Its armor, designed to withstand small arms fire and shrapnel, provides adequate protection against various threats on the battlefield. Despite its limitations, the T-55's operational capabilities are augmented by accessories such as infrared night vision systems and NBC protection systems. Its reliability and availability in large numbers make it a valuable asset for Russia in the conflict. Androniak's acknowledgement of the effectiveness of the T-55 underscores the importance of modernizing and effectively utilizing existing military equipment in contemporary conflicts. However, the continued use of the T-55 raises questions about strategic choices and logistical capabilities on both sides. It may reflect a shortage of more modern equipment, a deliberate strategy to conserve advanced resources for other aspects of the conflict, or a pragmatic approach to exploiting available resources for specific roles. That's all for now. See you later.